Right, dear science, um, welcome, Adrian Nelson here, and just some general messages for you for April. Um, please take them as they resonate. I'm going to put some time timestamps for you over there. So it's going to be for Gemini, for Libra, and for Aquarius. As always, I would recommend that you maybe look at the readings for your sun, your moon, as well as your sending. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to start doing some more regular readings for you so be sure to subscribe to the channel be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when the readings are coming up for those of you that are interested in a personal reading or in an energy clearing i am going to explain to you how to do that at the end of the reading so i'm going to start drawing your cards i'm going to draw you each an oracle card um so gemini libra and aquarius I'm going to draw you a tarot card and then I'm also going to draw you some more tarot just to see what we've got for you to, to just have a look and see what are the general messages that the universe would like to share with you during the month of April. This is a very quick check-in. I'm going to start doing the full weekly readings soon but for now I just wanted to do like a quick general check-in for you. Just saving my earphones there for my dog here. Alrighty, so let's get started and we're getting started with Gemini. So Gemini, um, what you've got is this said great and full and it's there with number four, which is all about balance. So Gemini, um, during the month of April, I see a lot of victories actually coming in for you. I see a lot of success coming in for you. I see a lot of your effort paying off. A lot of the things that you have you know you've put a lot of time into it and you've put a lot of your heart and your soul into it and you maybe sacrificed a lot of your time a lot of the things a lot of the desires that you have for your heart a lot of your dreams a lot of your creative projects um paying off this could also be love or you can find yourself ex un unexpectedly or like quite suddenly you know in love or you can find that a relationship or a connection that you didn't initially think was going to work out gemini you can find during april that somehow um it's working out or there's a re like the spark is being reignited basically you know um this could also be for personal affairs maybe with like family uh maybe with your job maybe you felt very sort of unfulfilled in your job there for a while unfulfilled in your daily lives um daily sort of activities for a while there gemini whereas what i get during april there is a lot of that beautiful um sort of flow that is coming back into your life that beautiful positive sort of flow that beautiful positive sort of spark so some of you may have sort of lost some of the spark beautiful gemini's and i feel that spark coming back for you see what we've got for you in tarot and you came into your own energy the lovers because this is a gemini energy which also used to be called choice so what this is letting me know gemini is that you've got some choices you've got some options coming up for you here um with some love and you may even you, you i do say that some of you may see um you know that you may see sort of like the truth about the situation um which can be good or it can be bad whichever way it goes i do see that it brings about a lot of growth for you now some of you may see the snake over there and you think to myself oh my goodness that is really really bad but what i really feel is there's a sense of um, that kundalini energy because the, the snake is really about kundalini energy which is that energy that is locked up you know at the bottom of our spine that could be un that could be unlocked that beautiful sort of like she energy and i feel that a lot of the dark that is in a situation especially when it comes to romance um, and, and close connections uh, a lot of that is is resolving itself so you may find that the things that were sort of like blocking love, the things that were making love very difficult for you, Gemini, the things that were um, sort of like really, really breaking your heart, you may find that a lot of those things are being resolved and um, sort of like the poison in many ways is being removed from the situation. Let's see what we've got for you there in tarot. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Stars, which is the Ten of Wands. Um, all about emotions, um, letting go of a connection or, or sort of like a, um, 
almost like a way that things didn't work out before and, and finding that better way. So for some of you, it might be that you almost sort of missed the mark with someone before or missed the connection. Maybe the timing was off and I feel that now there's, there's better timing. Okay, it's, it's almost like both of you needed to learn some lessons. Maybe you needed to, to get a, um, a, a bigger sense of um, maybe appreciation for one another. Maybe you, you both needed to do um, a little bit of growing there, a little bit of understanding life a little bit more. And I feel that both of you got that now. Um, two of Pentacles, positive changes, positive changes for yourself, um, clarity in thoughts, um, better serving thoughts more balance in the emotions Gemini, um, better opportunities coming about here for you, um, really all around very positive changes, whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's career, just sort of like that personal um, charisma, I feel that that in a sense is also expanding in beautiful ways, and then also just find it there for you Gemini, the ten of stars, the ten of wands, um, there's a, a, I feel that there's second chances here for many of you, so you may thought that a situation with somebody was at a loss, that is never really going to happen again i'm sorry about the background noise i have got my dog he's like this eight week old um jack russell and he's he's, he's so hyperactive he's busy eating some books and and whatever hey baby <laughs> so cute i'm gonna show you all he's so cute he's so mm, hyperactive say hello 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 you don't, don't want to say hi you don't want to say hi okay baby mm -hmm. you go sleepy okay if you can all right, so that is Gemini, Libra. Libra, you have got the rose's kiss. This is really amazing. Libra, this is a space of miracles for you. This is a space of blessings for you. This is a space of breakthroughs for you. This is a space where your heart's desires really just start to come true, Libra, where um, sudden miracles, sudden blessings. There's a beautiful ladybug over there. And for, my, for me, ladybugs are about magic. It's about that magical sort of spark that comes in, you know, that ignition of magic, that shine through of magic. Um, Libra for you, for many of you, this could be you finding the magic within yourself. This could also be a space where you maybe find that magical person, that magical connection, that magical job, that magical miracle, that magical breakthrough. Really incredible things, Libra, that you could be looking forward to during this month of April, you know, for yourself. Really, really fantastic. Um, and it's, it's almost like it doesn't you can have a blessing coming from different avenues, like different things coming together to maybe something seems like this is this and this is that. And it doesn't initially seem like things are related. But then as it turns out, you go like, ah, I didn't see that coming. That is really so super amazing. So very unexpected blessings that could be coming your way, the Libra, that you really didn't see coming. You may have thought you're dealing with this situation and that situation and suddenly kaboom. You know, magic is happening. Let's see what we've got for you here in tarot for your first card. You have got the nine of wands. Um, so in many ways, um, Libra, there's a mask coming off. Um, this could be a space where you're getting some clarity in situations. You know, um, do you continue with this connection? Do you not continue with this connection? Do you continue with the job, with the plan? Um, do you give people a second chance or do you accept that, you know, that it's time to call it quits? You're getting a lot of that clarity coming for you. And I feel that for some of you, um, you, you know, there may have been very painful things that have happened for you. And as a result of that, Libra, you have sort of taken on um, sort of some personalities, some sort of personas, um, you know, obviously when things happen and they hurt our emotions, you know, it changes us. And for some of you, it's, it's like you try to maybe salvage a situation and you realize now that it's time to actually let that situation go. All right. Um, so I have saved, <laughs> I was going to say that I saved my book and now it seems I must save my, oh, come on, baby. I must save my earphones because, you know, this little baby is, is set on eating my stuff. Let's see what we've got for you in tarot. We've got the four of wands, um, the king of stars, which is the king of wands, and the high priestess. So really, really, really awesome stuff that's happening here for you, Libra. There were this four of wands. Um, 
you know, this is a space, sorry, the four of swords, my apologies. This is a space of, um, you've really done pretty much everything that you could do in a situation. Um, everything that, you know, for many of you, this could mean the end of a relationship. This could mean the end of a connection, um, the end of trying to make something work and sort of like allowing what you might have thought may have initially worked, allowing that to sort of, you know, no longer be, to make space for something else. Some of you may have had a connection where you needed to learn some lessons and now you've learned those lessons and now it's time to let that go. They were the king of stars, the king of wands. This is about you being ready for that powerful next connection, for that powerful new connection, for for that flow, for that magic, for for just really everything that makes your heart smile. And, you know, it takes a lot of work to get to a point to be ready for all these sort of things. It really, really does. And a lot of you have really put in, in the work, you know, um, and now you are ready for that powerful new connection, for that, for that beautiful new way of living that you deserve, that you are fully deserving of. And then the high priestess over there, some guidance. So the question is, well, what do you do? So there's this beautiful promise, this dog is hyperactive. There's this beautiful promise of all the wonderful things that you can be, but what do you do? Well, it's really about getting clarity, Libra. It's about getting, oh my goodness, I really should have packed all these things away, guys. I am so, so super sorry. I really do apologize. I'm so sorry that I'm that I'm pulling all these things around in your hearing, sorry, in your reading. I do apologize, Libra. Um, but this is a space where you um, you sort of allow the magic to find you. And it might be, this is not so much a time of taking action. This is more a time of sort of, you know, um, checking in and, and seeing what things are at the moment. And almost like what is the feedback that the universe want to give you. So this is a time for meditation and reflection and contemplation, Libra. And to really get some clarity and, and, and to really sort of um, almost like I would say reassess your priorities for what it is that you really want and what it is that you maybe don't want. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius, you have got into me I see. Okay, number eight there with infinity, with flow. Aquarius, um, April is definitely a time for you to shine and to shine quite brilliantly. Um, I see that beautiful mind of yours, that beautiful logic of yours. Um, that's almost like a psychic ability, basically, Aquarius. I see it being incredibly on point. I see... Um, it's almost like a lot of the thoughts that you had, a lot of the things that you were thinking about, contemplating, hoping, wishing, dreaming, strategizing. I see things really, um, you know, taking flight here for you. So you might have had a lot of dreams and a lot of ambitions and a lot of planning that you needed to do and maybe studying and preparation and all of those type of things. Now I really see that all of that is taking off for you and it's taking off in a very, very beautiful way. All right. So there's some sudden changes that might happen here for you. Not necessarily in love, but it could be that you are becoming very attractive to people at this particular point in time, Aquarius during April, where a lot of people are noticing you because when you shine your light like this, um, you really become that person that people notice, you know, because you you just become highly attractive. Everybody sees you. Everybody notices you. Because when we shine our light and when we live in our light, um, it reminds others of the light that they are as well. So you may find that some people may come to you and they may have all sort of like pretty little stories that they give you your queries as well. Um, just know when that happens that it is your light that is attracting other people people to you and you can pretty much decide what it is that you want to do with that situation if you are open to love those opportunities no my baby um are definitely um you know they are definitely presenting themselves um in tarot we've got the five of wands so what i do see is that for some of you hello love um for some of you there might still be some unhealed um patterns feelings emotions when it comes to love from previous connections those of you that maybe had some nasty breakups um for some of you there are still some things in emotions that are not necessarily fully resolved just yet okay 
and um, I feel that during April, even though there may be many opportunities um, for you, for love, I do see that for some of you, you're not really all that interested in those love opportunities, really. It, it seems like a lot of you are more interested in growing yourself and, you know, really letting those, um, those, those beautiful sort of um, dreams that you have, letting those take to flight. An excellent time for success, an excellent time for networking for you during April, um, letting new things happen. In Tarot, you've got the Page of Stars, which is the Page of Wands. You've got the Page of Pentacles and you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So very much about thoughts here, new things, new beginnings, contemplation, you know, contemplating life, contemplating yourself, contemplating love, contemplating money, career, the future, how you want things to be, how you'd like things to go, you know, being forward. So I do see for some of you that, um, you know, that you might have a person coming about or that there might be some, you know, opportunities for love where, you know, it's, it's almost like people are coming in and you say, well, um, this seems promising, this seems possible, but I want this and this and that. You know, I, I see you being a little bit pickier um, and not really picky in a bad sense, picky more being specific, knowing what you want, getting some more clarity about what you want. So you may make a connection with someone, but it's not necessarily a connection that I would say resolves in sort of like a love connection necessarily. Um, doesn't have to be that way for all of you. It's more a sense of like, okay, well, that looks promising, but I am more open to this and I'm more open to that and I'm more open to that. Okay, nothing wrong with that. I see you taking the same approach to money, to your career, to opportunities, um, to to really everything in life, really. What it is that you want life to be. I see a lot of contemplation about the future. I see a lot of planning in the uh, groundwork. And what I can definitely tell you though, with the Wheel of Fortune, with Jupiter Energy, the energy of luck, Aquarius, I can tell you that that contemplation that you are putting out there, that that clarity that you are putting out there, what for what you want, what you don't want, what you're open for, what you're not open for, I can see it paying off in a really, really, really brilliant way for you going forward. Okay, so that is what I got for you. I hope that that helps beautiful souls of beautiful, beautiful, infinite potential. Um, for those of you that are interested in having a personal reading with me or maybe you want to have an energy clearing, I've had a lot of people for energy clearings and cord cuttings that were coming to me. Down below in the description, you can see how to book that. Um, the, the rate for both sessions are the same. So you'll see down below it says personal reading, but whether it's energy clearing, which is a cord cutting or, you know, energy balancing or whether it's a reading, all the information is down below. The rates are the same for both. You can um, make payment. You send me a proof of payment and then I will get back to you and we will speak about the time and the date. And if it's a personal reading, I will record something very similar to this for you. You can ask up to five questions um, and I will send it for you. I can look at it and you can look at it again. But for now, from my heart, namaste, love and light. Hope that helps you. Ciao, ciao, ciao.